ADF soldiers and the current report that we got out early this week. So ADF, for those people who don't know, is Australian Aust- Defence Force. Australian Defence Force, that's correct. Thank you, Emin. Um, it was, how many cases was there? 39? 46. 46. Um, so this was on the basis of a report and a, 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 a long took, investigation. Took that four years, yeah, to be took, exact. Two f- took four years to compile a report about Australian Defence Force uh, soldiers in Afghanistan um, to pretty much as a, as a group they were murdering innocent people correct where we be war crimes in afghanistan now i just want to make it very clear that the report did come out but n- um it's two days old no no it, it's two days old but the the, the soldiers are it's a, it's a report that's come out but the soldiers are not guilty they haven't faced the jury yet they haven't faced the jury yet so they haven't been charged yet i'm not going to come out and say we're just stating what we know what we've read what we've watched um, in media reports such as Four Corners, um, 60 Minutes and certain other platforms like Correct. YouTube and I think the, were, the report itself was 400 and something pages itself. Yeah. Um, a lot of it well, has been blacked out because of considering Let's be honest. National well, well, security. Was that the Governor General? One of the generals for the Australian Defence Force came in and actually apologised. That was the Governor General. That was the Governor General, that's yeah. right. He apologised. So if he's apologising and he looked like he was a bit shaken up, might I add, like from my personal... Um, observation it's not like he it's like he want he didn't want to be there i mean it's not like something he was rushing to go announce you know what i mean i mean obviously it's a sad day in <laughs> what do you want to australian call it? history australian history yeah all right, let's it's, call a, it's it a bla- it's a it's a dark day it's a black day it's very it's, dark it's, day it's man even just reading the news r- r- articles and stuff it's it's sickening man it's 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 me personally i've been angry like, i'm angry especially with the actual full-on camera footage of the incidents being played, it's it's. There, there's one guy who's like, "Do you want me to shoot the cunt?" Like, you, you know what was in that context? Uh, or? D- yeah, okay. look, exactly. Look, like I just that. wanted to make sure that's but all. No, no, yeah, yeah. He, he literally says, yeah. "Should quite I shoot the cunt?" Unquote. And he giggles, shoots him, right? Oh, I don't know about and the giggle because it was loud. And, and like, is this on the report? But no, this you, is video. You know, the, the, the video. Yeah, camera footage. The, the part that really affects me is the the, the dehumanization of these people. Yeah. It's like. What are you shooting at? Are you shooting at a deer? Or are you shooting Look, at like, like an animal? Like, what are you shooting can at? Can I play devil's advocate? Can we be understanding? Like, I'm not going to... I'm not going to portray... I'm not going to say that it, it's... Un, I'm, I'm understanding of the killings. But you've got to look at the factors of... Factors that they are in war. They're in a country they don't know. They're facing an enemy that don't wear uniforms. You know what I mean? I, I'm just outlawing what i've heard and what i've read you know the evidence given and it's kind of understandable to an extent like they call it war crime because it wasn't actually like they were shooting each other and then they caught him and then they shot him yeah they were they were unarmed they've got from what i know three actual witnesses they took that were at the uh at the time at the place when these events occurred so uh, let me ask you this guys then all right so when it comes down to the actual crimes itself, okay, because we've been waiting for this report to come out for quite some time, okay. Yep. yep. Now, when when it actually came out, do you think that the Australian media themselves, um, say say let's take out sixty minutes, the places that actually covered it and actually spoke to the soldiers. I'm talking about your Sydney Morning Herald, your News dot coms, and all that type of stuff. Do you think these guys covered it in such a way that if it was another country doing it? to australia for example that they that this would be mass blown media coverage like do you think the australian media is actually doing a well job in the way that they're handling this case if i can reference one program that i watched and i found was very neutral in presenting the facts and what they've discovered in their journalism would be four corners it's on youtube if you want to see discrepancies with other shows such as 60 minutes you can see where there's an agenda with 60 minutes trying to portray the people um, of Afghanistan as, oh, this is wartime, you know? This was, it's, it's, it's kind of understandable to, to have these sort of uh, things happen. You know, they're trying to justify these events. Does that make sense? Like, yeah. did you what, did you guys see yeah. see the both I shows? I seen the Four Corners one. I, I Four Corners, it, it felt, I felt like uh, it was covered completely. 60 Minutes hit the two faces of two soldiers that actually came yeah. forward and said... No, you know, like we're, we're, we're hiding our face. Whereas there was one guy who came out complaining and he was like, they asked him straight forward and they're like, 
look, um, he goes, do, do you fear retribution? Do you think these guys are going to come? He goes, yeah, I do. He goes, I genuinely do. He goes, I feel like, you know, I, like I've got to watch my back now. Because it is a courageous thing what he's done. I understand that he's gone against his team. And in today's society, everyone knows that it's whistleblowers, it's whistleblowers or a rat or a snitch. But I think this is a person with high moral, like, and... I, get, I, like, I, I know what you're trying to refer to from a whistleblower perspective because you can take out two of the major scenarios in which um, the government's heavily against. You got um, Julian Assange himself who, yeah. who went against it and literally got yeah, labelled as... Yeah, this is how as, it started. As had from him. And Edward Snowden yep. who came out and told yeah. him about the country. And look, History the gov- doesn't like whistleblowers. It, do- it doesn't yeah. like it, especially from a, from a nationalistic point of view where you're going against your country doing the wrong yeah, thing. exactly. Um, see, this is a very hard topic to 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 actually group together because like, as we've said yes the soldiers are still on trial themselves mm-hmm. but if if Aust- if the australian soldiers did this for example w- w- what kind of retribution can you possibly charge on this because it will literally destroy the whole pyramid does that make sense yeah. because yeah that's it's what's so put sad. a black yeah. mark on it's the entire australian defense because now you're asking all right you know what's funny they said the the people that were affected by these family members of the innocent people that they were murdered, they complained. And there's some kind of association in Afghanistan. Some I can't remember the name of it, but it was it was like a um, innocent murder. Oh, fuck, I can't remember. I wish I wrote it down. I wrote a group that they go to. Yeah, they yeah. go to, and they were complaining about the murder of these these individuals of their family. And what ended up happening was they relayed this back to the Australian government, and they actually did a report on it where they they said no. Nah, Everything that was presented, they asked the individuals who spoke, and they said um, that no, n- uh, nothing, in, no evidence in this case was found to um, uh, say that this person was innocent, uh, innocently murdered. Does that make sense? Yeah. Whereas they kind of uh, they w- they were found out to be placing guns, planting guns, no, planting guns, guns on, 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 on these yeah. people Just that to say that they were yeah, innocent, yeah. they were armed, or radios yeah. to say that they were calling, they were letting others know that they were around, or you know, giving communication to surrounding army members. But or in what? terms of proving that, how do you prove that the the we- look? I'm I'm I'm, look, I'm not saying that this didn't happen, but how do you prove that weapons were planted, radios were planted? Because you know, the guy actually said it. He's he's actually yeah, admitted he to actually it? admitted it. He okay. goes he goes. What, there was a common joke between the actual defense soldiers and they were saying that the serial code for one gun would kept popping up. They oh, actually really? joked the about gun that. Was being the planted. same, oh, yeah, okay. he goes, oh, oh, is that the serial uh, number again? And the reporter asked him, he goes, are you telling me the serial number of one gun kept popping up? He goes, yes. Wow. Yes. Just the Mia Khalifa of guns. <laughs> 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 yeah. So this is why it's like, it's it's not like there's allegations. The guy's saying, "Yeah, I see this." Okay, I didn't I didn't know that he, no, he no, no. straight up came and admitted yeah, he that he did, did that. It. Four corners, guys. Like you can, I can back my words up with four corners. Okay, search so it up on YouTube. Regarding now, this this is from an Australian perspective. Now we know that throughout, say, the last twenty years, we've had countries such as United States of America. You had Britain. You had um, you had uh, pretty much the entire almost the entirety of Europe in the Middle East. Do you, I know, I know the answer that I'm probably going to get, but do you think that because the Australian government or the the report that came out on the Australian soldiers has come out, do you think other countries might actually do an inquest into what's actually happened or no. sweep it under the rug? No, so I, I feel, I feel like it. evidence is going to start being hidden or if there is any... I hope so. If there's any, um, what's it called? Um, like, if there's any doubt in, say, the, this country being... Do, doing the same thing in England, I think it's going to be covered up. My, it, my question is, it's not just the soldiers that were committing these horrible acts. It was... They high were, up. They, higher up were helping him, like... Uh, ho- a lot of higher up were... Look, you know what I mean? I, I'm going to go to an even... Di- uh, to a bigger extreme. I'm going to talk about the whole culture in the Australian Defence Force. You yeah. know what they're talking about? They're talking about getting your first kill. To, what do they yeah, call it? Blooding, blooding. Blooding. Oh, blooding. Do you want a blooding? Let's get your first kill. So you're killing innocent people. Yeah. Just to say that, hey man, I got my first kill. Like I, I'm a real soldier now. Like the the whole culture in the whole Australian Defence Force is disgusting. If you want to talk about higher ups going right from the start, it's gross. Look, I'll, I'll I want to just make sure 100 percent again. We're we're speaking about not the entirety of the force. No, Obviously, that's right. We're no. talking about cer- certain individuals. Again, every group does have their their element of bad apples. If you want to say bad apples yeah. that fell off the tree. See, that's what I meant earlier when I said devil's advocate. It is wartime. War is not nice. 
Mm. I think we can all agree on that. But I think that that's why we have those rules so that war crimes aren't committed. Bro, if, if you're putting your hands up and saying, I, 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 I'm unarmed, look, it's a different story if three people before him were unharmed and then they blew up soldiers who were coming up to arrest them, right? Well, then you're going to be take precaution. You're going to start yeah. shooting people before yeah. they have the opportunity to hurt your people back. Mm. But if they've got their hands up, the guy's got his little three-year-old daughter there, he's obviously giving up. Yeah. And that's why those war, war laws were set out from the start. Yeah. Look, war is not a pretty thing. Disgusting things happen. Innocent people are killed, blah, blah. But it's one thing to drop a bomb... For, for, for to, to drop a bomb on an army base and a couple of civilians who are driving past at a time are killed, yeah. then to point a gun yeah, at yeah, an innocent exactly. person and pull a trigger, but then knowing again, like so, what, do we start going after the government for all the drone bombings they've been doing? You know no, what I mean? th 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 like, that's what I'm saying. Th that they're two different things. If you're if it's accidental death, and I, I'm not saying that it should happen, it shouldn't happen. Civilians and stuff should not be good. Man, there shouldn't be wars to begin with. Cause but if if you're blatantly Pointing your gun, knowing that this yeah. guy's innocent, saying, right, "Hey man, footage. I'm gonna get my first kill. Should I shoot the cunt? Bang! Then it, it's a definite war crime, definite. And you know what, man? We're hearing reports of people who've been caught on film, on people who had witnesses who witnessed this happening. Man, this has probably happened so much, and not just from the Australian army, and not just in Afghanistan. I would argue that it's happening all over the world. We we, we, we sort of talked about this off air and said. They're not the only ones. We had yeah. that case 10 years ago, whatever it was, where American soldiers were stripping prisoners down naked and oh. making them do sexual acts inside the prisons. These are prisoners of war. This that is not Iraq. the first... Uh, Iraq, sorry, it was Iraq. Um, this is not the first time it's happened. It, it happens. But do you... But see, yeah, I agree with you 150% that it does happen, but I think that this is more... It's a historical thing as well, if you look at it. If you look at it. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, you look at... You look at the Holocaust, for example, okay? Another example, which is soldiers just blatantly doing whatever they want, however they want, okay? Then you can go into the to the Vietnam War. Then you can go into the Cold War. Then you can go into pretty much everything, Afghanistan, Syria, Iraq, Af um, <laughs> pretty much work your way throughout the Middle East, uh, Libya. Um, the, the, the question remains where it's, even if these soldiers are found guilty, this isn't going to stop. Like, there's no, yeah, there's no, there's no way of stopping this. It's it been going on for decades. Yeah, exactly. Decades, and it's it's not just, you know, people in the defense forces or or people who who predominantly fight in wars. It's happening in in people who are in positions of power. Yeah, we, we, when we talk about the Black Lives Matter, and I was stuff just like going to say that. Yeah, I mean, we we saw. I don't know if you guys saw that really horrendous footage of um you know the the most recent incident that has led up to the whole black lives matter movement i um, don't want to mention any names but you know it was it was horrendous like that you you had police officers who are people in power who are armed you know who who can you know make situations you know safer but in this situation for, for this poor gentleman power. it was an absolute abuse of power and it, he that that those officers did not create safety and it's the same thing in the defense forces you know the whole idea is of war is fighting for something um but you know it, yeah it's it's not without without the cost um and with with not without people who get carried away with with that abuse of power or with with that power we you know we used to talk about it as being power trips when we were younger mm -hmm. but it, it is absolutely an abuse of power i don't blame them i'd probably go on the trip of course you would there's no question like about you know, that you know have the power of you know a guy fearing me because i've got a badge and a gun you know like i'm sure I, I'd, I'd abuse my power i would I'm, I'm not gonna lie i feel more afraid of a man who wasn't armed with a, <laughs> with a, a badge and a gun and could actually fight no 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 like like you can you know, do certain i'm not talking about i'm gonna go into you know i'm gonna go arrest people because i feel like it but i'm just saying certain individuals i mean if they like no i'm gonna argue against that you know why you're a father of two children right yeah. that is a massive position of power right mm. yeah. for no joy or thrill do you just yell at your kids just because you have power <laughs> and 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 it you know that this is wrong right you having a, a, an m16 or whatever pointing it at a, 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 at a yeah. like you know like a, an arm, unarmed person i don't think there's any thrill in it to be honest i'm gonna counter you with that yeah. america is a country that's different to ours in the sense that look at the firearms they have there 
They've got automatic, semi-automatic. And how easily accessible it and is. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Dude, like the amount of weapons in that country is ridiculous. You know, they say there's more than there's more guns in the country than there is people. Mm-hmm. That's a, that's a, that's a common yeah. saying. And the point I'm trying to get at is <sighs> we've all listened to rap songs. We've listened to, you know, I think they describe the life, you know, especially in socio low socioeconomic uh, 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 um, societies like theirs. I mean, I'm just going to throw names out. Like in California, you got the Compton, you know, most famous one of the famous ghettos in the world. The yeah. projects. You know what I mean? Yeah. Projects, yeah, yeah. That's what they call it. They describe to you the stuff that happens there, you know, when it comes to drug abuse, uh, you know, uh, uh, crime, gangs, whatever you want to call it. Imagine what these police officers have to deal with day in, day out. Like, I'm not I'm not trying to justify their actions. I'm not. But you mentioned earlier with, with psychology. Imagine the trauma, the you know, the... All the emotions they must be going through dealing with one crackhead and then dealing with a guy that's trying to run over or dealing with a guy who's trying to stab you. You know what I mean? Day in, day out, every week. You're just dealing with the scum of society. You know what I mean? The criminals, the, just the drug deal, the drug drug heads, whatever you want to call it. Like, just, it would not be a place. Right? When I say junkies, I'm just like, man, like, I, I want to stay away from them naturally. Imagine what they, they're the people they people call to, to sort those guys out when they're, they're acting up. You know what I mean? So, I'm trying to keep an open-minded because it isn't an easy job. Even though I'm, I'm going to say I don't like police because I get fines here and there. I mean, <laughs> They're trying to keep maybe, you safe. Well, why not maybe you drive safe hey, then. My hey, fr- they the should fines I've you. been copying for five and ten Ks I don't care. is unreasonable. That's I don't bullshit. care. If you're speeding well, on the same road I'm on, let them book you every day, bro, because nah, 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 I, I, yeah, I value hey, my hey, safety. Bro, we got shit to oh, do. By man. the way, I don't know if you guys know or not, the, you know those new safety mobile cameras? Yeah. They're, more they're, they're getting rid of the signs. Oh. oh. So be careful. Oh, I don't really look at the I signs. Yeah, I look at lights every know. time. Everybody yeah, download Waze. Yeah, I've got it Waze. It tells you. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, awesome. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Google, you need to step up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but look, from a, from a police perspective, you know what the irony is? When people complain about police, they're doing something wrong, but when they need them, you call them. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Bro, exactly. I feel uneasy when I see a police officer and I've got nothing to be guilty about because I'm not... You know, breaking the law, but I'm still uneasy. That's, like how, that's how you know you've come from Auburn. <laughs> <laughs> no, you see a high, like, for instance, I'm not even going to talk about normal police. Normal police, normal police are, uh, they, can, <laughs> they can get fucked, <laughs> but the Highway Patrol in particular, Highway Patrol's a scum. Well, I'm going to label them straight well, out. I, no, because oh, I, 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 are, they, are they scum no. when they pull you over for speed? Yes. Ah, so when you're breaking the law, you're okay, angry well, they're how, do you they, over. how do they help me? Inan, they help me from what getting people like you off the road. Your, what if you're, you're off the road? You you would have a different view about this if your kids, God forbid, were yeah, of in course, a, were in <laughs> an <laughs> accident, okay? Because someone, someone was speeding ten kilometers over the ten speed kilometers okay. over the speed limit. Let me. Pu- oh, all right. Yeah. You, Do you remember the ads yeah, in the nineties? Do you remember the ads in the 90s? It's, it used to talk about going five kilometers over the speed limit makes like a 30 meter yeah, yeah, yeah. braking difference. Yes. Bro, imagine 10 yeah. kilometers, you're talking 60 meters now. Now, your kid, God forbid, on the road, 60 more meters to stop, bro, that, that's life and that death. That is there. life and death. So, bro, I am all for highway patrol taking out people who are speeding. No, if you're speeding, no. you deserve it. If you're I've drink lost driving, my license twice you should be for these minorest of infringements so they can go fuck themselves. Well, okay. Out. Well, obviously we're not going to change Inan's mind, <laughs> so nah. let, let's Fuck move them. on. <laughs> do you, do you, say, do you genuinely? I think, genuinely mean that. But no, what I'm trying to get at is, do you? Th- okay, so if you were, so, let's give. Like, I'm going to for a hypocritical no, no, no. fucks they are. If you were don't speed, but they speed. If you Go were, on. The, the, the law that they're allowed to. Do you think yeah, that as the law. New South Wales, if you were New South Wales Police Commissioner, yeah, what law would you implement to change? And to assist the community, okay. I'm laughing because I can. I think I can read your mind. You know what? <laughs> Inan would well, need a Inan Lane. Up a bottle. Get rid Inan of Lane. every cop on the Inan street. Lane. <laughs> uh, Inan Lane that only he's allowed to drive yeah, in. Combine the bus lane with the Inan Lane. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll provide you with a decent example. In Germany, they have autobahns, highways. Correct. And they have no set speed limit. Correct. We all know about this. Yes. Do you know the statistics yes. on, 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 on the crashes there? Very little. Okay. I'm not going to... Uh, I'm not going to... Uh, I don't know, actually. actually, But they're, they're known f- to, to be very... Uh, I won't say safe, but... I don't know. It just goes above thing. 
And the statement, like, uh, of course, I'm not saying, like, when I say mine infringement, I've, I've been booked for the five 10Ks over. Like, I've never been caught, I've never done double or over, you know what I mean? So, like, in a way, if you can understand what I mean by this, I'm a responsible sweetheart. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going <laughs> to... Hey, 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 Inan, Inan, what, what, is, what does this say? That says 69. <laughs> it says 60. It means 60 to 70. It says 60. 69, 70, that's I'm right. I'm going to put this in daddy terms for yeah. you, all right? Because, yeah, of course, I completely agree with that as well. But you gotta put I'm a talking about highways. Because, of course, when it comes to residential areas like yours and mine, different No, no, no I'm not even talking about that. I'm talking highways, all right? Let's talk highways. Yeah. Let's talk about highways in a way that you're going to understand with your kids, right? You don't want your son, for example, in the most extreme to stab somebody, right? So you're going to stop the action at him throwing something at someone, right? Yep. It's wrong. But if you let people get away with five, they're going to start getting away with 10. They're going to start getting away with 15. It's like, they're going to start doing 40 clock. Yeah, Bro, you got to put a limit on it. And they do. They give you that leeway. Five over, you're done. Bro, there's a reason why it's 60 there. It's because there's schools there. There's residential. There's driveways. Of Bro, course. The people who've designed these roads and these speed limits have put people's safety in... in in mind of when course, they're making like, it. It's wrong. not just, oh, bro, we're going to fuck up Inan's day so it takes him <laughs> half an hour longer to drive through here. They really <laughs> haven't done that. They're just looking out for people yeah, of course. being safe I on the road. I completely agree with that. But I don't know how we got into this topic from, you know, the Australian Defence Force, but... <laughs> you talked that was me, talking sorry. about coppers. <laughs> Sorry, not sorry. Everyone from Auburn gets angry. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. 